great day for U.S. Gymnastics. It's a great day. It's a great day. Thanks. <laughs> Where do I sign up? We'll be back. There's a place where the home team always... Different teams, the Soviets, have made a habit out of winning the gold medal for the United States. <laughs> the victors of course the spoils in this case the gold medal of the soviet union this of course a team that has been here on many occasions medals take on different meaning to different teams the soviets have made a habit out of winning the gold medal for the united states however winning a silver medal is winning indeed i remember talking Mark, and Kathy, to kristen cooper when she won a silver Forward. medal and she said Chairman it took a little bit of time to get used to the fact that hey i didn't lose and get a silver medal i won a silver medal. And that's what these Americans, I'm sure, are feeling right now. The Americans have been on the brink of that cherished top three for so long now. They were fourth at the Olympics in 88, fourth at the last World Championships, and finally, not only moving into the top three, but a silver medal. And I think the other thing that is significant about this team is this is a very young team. This is a team that conceivably could be together for quite a while. When you look down at that group of young ladies, you certainly feel this would be the strongest six to represent the United States at the Olympics next year in Barcelona. But there are a few others out there. But if this young team can stay healthy, they will certainly be a factor next year. And the crowd, of course, receiving the American team, as you might expect, based on the performance that they have given all of them tonight. There's a familiar face, Mary Lou Retton, of course, and she's leading cheers, too. There's Lance Ringdahl. What a moment. You never forget this as long as you live. Kim Zemesco, Shannon Miller. Carrie Strug is an impressive young lady. I expect she'll be one of the strongest members of the team by next year. She's on her way up. She's only 13 years old. Hillary Grivich in her first major competition, as you said. And how about this lady, Michelle Campy, also in her first major competition. What did she give this team leading off in every rotation? And finally, Betty Aquino. What a story. There they are, folks, first and second place. Third place in the bronze medal going to Romania. And we told you different medals take on different meanings. And for the Americans, of course, there is sheer joy as they get their flowers. For the Romanians, I'm sure very much the other side of that coin, they don't really feel at this point like they won anything. The only other time that the World Gymnastics Championships were held in the United States was back in 1979. That's when Nadia Komenich was a member of the Romanian team. They beat the Soviets and won the gold. Here they're going to have to accept the bronze. And what you're hearing here is not just polite applause. This is applause for a job well done. And finally, the presentation of the bronze medal, and that will go to the Romanians who came in here, I'm sure, with a lot higher hopes. This certainly was a huge upset. The United States team has never beaten the Romanians in major competition. When you think about all the things that the Romanians have been through over the last couple of years with the revolution and the closing of the National Training Center, they have come back very strongly in the last six months to put together a strong team. They'll be a factor, and they'll be back in 92. Yeah, and you have an idea that this loss could make this team a little bit hungrier as you look ahead to Barcelona in 92. Well, they'll be back with a vengeance, I'm sure. So what happens now for our team, if you will? And again, this is a, a team that has only been a team for a very short period of time. What happens between now and the Olympic Games? Well, they go back to their respective gyms and begin that long training process for the Olympic Games. And as we said, between World Championships and Olympics, it's very much an individual sport, though they push each other in terms of reaching their potential. I think we'll see even greater things, hopefully, in Barcelona. Nice show of gesture here as the Romanians shaking hands with their conquerors in this particular competition. That's the new Romanian flag, incidentally. The one without the socialist crest in the middle. Milosevic, very melancholy moment, I'm sure, for her. Eugenia Popa next to her. You look back at the scores, Milosevic, even if she didn't fall off the uneven bars, the Americans were so strong today that they were going to win. 
Adrian. This is certainly going to set up a very fierce competition in Barcelona. Well, the difference in the moods here is startling. The bronze medal and the silver medal. The Americans, of course, extremely happy. The Romanians, not so at all. They feel they lost. The United States feels it won. The Soviets, and you can't take anything away from them, simply brilliant. Look at these faces, folks. You're going to see them around for a long time. By this baron, child's play. 3M salutes the Olympic athletes who found a better way. Whose ideas were so original, there's no going back. That same innovative thinking helped us invent Post-it brand notes. And the way you leave messages has never been the same. 3M. Innovation working for you. The 1991 World Gymnastics Championships, the women's team final, was brought to you tonight by Diet Coke. You're going to drink it just for the taste of it. So it is over and the Soviets have won it and the United States, well, they won it too. A silver medal, the first time an American team amongst the women has ever medaled in team competition. Let's take a look then at the 12 teams who will be competing at the Olympic Games in Barcelona. The Soviet Union, of course, the United States, now a power in this sport. Romania and China, those are the top four. Then Bulgaria and Australia, two upshots. Spain, they'll be the home country, remember. And Hungary, those are eight of the 12. The final four teams who will be competing in Barcelona then will be the People's Republic of Korea, Germany, France, and Canada. Those are the 12, and it should be a most entertaining competition. David and Clarissa Meskel meeting their daughter Kim Zemeskel while the team prepares to meet the media. Happy day all around. Here's mom, the kiss for her daughter and why not? What a job she did. A 10 just to finish it all off. And the coach, Bella Caroli. Happy mommy, happy daddy, happy everyone in this room. What a night for the Americans. They came from around the globe to this Midwest city in America. 51 countries bearing local colors and high hopes. Some were fulfilled, some are left wanting. The Soviets again proved themselves the very best. But this one time, America's guest was America's team. There was the grace of Betty Okino. This was a team that captivated the dogged competitiveness of Hillary Grivich. It was, who's Michelle Campy? Now it's, how about Michelle Campy? She and Carrie Strug showed they're prime time players. And Shannon Miller gave reason to think that she could emerge as one of the sport's best. In the end, it was yet another teenager. Kim Zemeskel didn't just put a period on things, she put an exclamation mark. Paragraph, end of story. The past is just that. The future started tonight. For Bart Connor and Kathy Johnson, I'm Barry Tompkins. See you next time. Thank you.